Happy Monday! My name is Dave Hall. I want to thank all of you who are part of the Solar Size family for joining us and thank all of those who might be visiting for the first time. What we do here at the Solar Size program on Monday nights, we, we're going to be doing it every other Monday night for summer, so we'll miss next week but the following week, is we go over customer reviews, we go over questions that customers have, we go over techniques that might be beneficial or that people have been asking about too. So I'm really kind of excited about tonight because we're going to be going over several different things that I think are, are going to be very helpful. But for those of us who seller size, we don't work out. We play in. And when we play in, we get results. And I'd like to share some of those results with you now. So this one, these have come, this one came in this morning. It says, hi Dave, turning the big 60 hasn't been easy for me. My body was sinking with 20 extra pounds on it. I purchased this seller size with the hope of changing this. I have owned two rebounders in the past and absolutely hated them. All that jumping and jiggling was not for me. But watching your YouTube videos, everything you said made so much sense. It's been two weeks since my seller size arrived. It's possibly the best thing I've ever purchased for my health. No jarring moves, just a soothing bounce that makes me want to use it. Every, anywhere from 11 to 20 minutes a day. I even feel happier. And this is coming from someone who hates working out and hates sweating. Thank you so much. I'll keep you informed of the weight loss. Oh, and by the way, you are the rock star of rebounding. Thanks again, Robin. Robin, thank you very much for the customer review. Uh, welcome to the Seller Size family, and we look forward to hearing more from you. All right. Hi Dave, today I've purchased three cellar sizers. I'm almost 65. I hike, bike, and play tennis. Several years ago I had a cheap rebounder that I wore out and then I sort of forgot about it. I have always been active so I just continued on with other forms of exercise. In 2012 I found T-TAP and became the oldest master trainer after four years of certifications. Teresa Tapp also touted the rebounder. Last summer I really started thinking about the rebounder again, so I bought a $60 one off Amazon because at the time I really didn't know that there was a difference. While searching YouTube for videos on rebounding, I ran across yours. I could hardly believe there were rebounders with that kind of price. But as I listened to you, I realized that you had done a lot of research and knew what you were talking about. I tried to do your exercises on my cheap one, but finally I took the plunge. What a difference. I still T-tap, hike, bike, and play tennis. But here's what I've noticed. The rebounder greatly enhances all those other activities. I bounce every single day. My balance has drastically improved. And I really don't know what it was that it was somewhat deteriorating. Also, when I do those other activities, my knees and hips no longer hurt. And my lower back rarely feels fatigue. I feel much more toned. That's all capitalized. I'm actually back to interval training, running, but I always bounce before and after. I also do this when I play tennis. My footwork is so great now on the court. Some days, of course, I do my interval training on the cellar sizer. Also, my 12-year-old grandson's days, of course, I do my interval training on the cellar sizer. Also, oh, my 12-year-old grandson's schoolwork drastically improved after just three to five minutes jumping. As a result of that, I bought one for him. He likes it a lot and sometimes jumps for 45 minutes. I hope that you add some of the strength training to the app. We will be doing that shortly. I have my own, I have in my own created workouts, I have left room for doing them on some of the moves. I also have added some of the T-tap moves to my jumping. Blessings, Tracy. Tracy, certified personal trainer. Tracy, I want to thank you, and if you have any movements that you would like us to consider adding to the app, please send them to me. That's, that's true with any of you. If you have anything special, anything that you like, um, we've got all kinds of flexibility with this program. This, um, this one I'm going to highlight for next time. It's um, four pages long, and it's remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable, but a um, lot, lot of great material in there. Um, okay. Uh, 
okay rich writes i i purchased a solar sizer out of desperation as with micronutrients silver solution and water ionizer i injured my foot playing basketball in early 2014. i had metatarsalgia where the bone pushed through the tissue in the ball of my foot and gave me a lot of pain when i walked i was becoming very lethargic then i discovered solar sizer after solarizing for a week, I felt much better mentally and physically, and at the same time, my foot was healing because of the low impact. I've enjoyed solarizing for six years now. My previous back, shoulder, and neck pains are gone. Solarizer also helped to dramatically eliminate arthritis in my hands. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, We've got a couple more. We've got some great customer reviews. Great. I wish you could listen to some of the phone calls. You know, we all want to feel better. We all want to perform better. We want to have less stress. Um, we want to enjoy a better quality of life. I can pretty much assure that, that the seller size family, people are enjoying a greater quality of life, more energy, better circulation, better balance. balance. And when we, when we have that, we can enjoy a greater quality of life. Now, We've received incredible stories about the results that so many of you've had. But we also know that there are some of you out there that have been discouraged in the process. I want to encourage you not to get caught up in where you aren't now, but be caught up more in where you're going today. Because again, I explained this a little bit in our last session. We need to enjoy the journey. We don't control the outcome. And when we get discouraged, it's usually because we're not getting the results we think or we want to have. But as long as we continue to, to follow the, a program that is designed to give us results, eventually we have to get results. One of the little affirmations that I've shared a number of times is that persistence overcomes resistance. But that's as much mental as it is physical. We work on different parts of our body and our body's health. We need to do the same thing with our mental health. And it's an exercise. When we're on a cellar sizer and we are seeing ourselves not just as we are, but as we can become, and we are grateful for where we are right now as we're moving in that direction, then our character and our strength is, of character increases. And so do our results. Okay, sorry about that. Um, all right, so I'm gonna read a couple more. Hello, Dave, we are sending you an update regarding our joining the Seller Sizer family. We have purchased four units for ourselves and other members of our family. Last November at the age 75, this came in yesterday, at the age 75, we started cellar sizing and have observed several changes. We have not had a cold or any kind of sickness since November of last year. Our endurance has improved. Varicose veins have diminished. Hernia is just about healed. Have noticed a general tightening of muscles. After cellar sizing, a general improvement in mood. There are probably other improvements taking place that we have, not, we have yet to identify, but look forward to observing. We are convinced that your product and program has hit a sweet spot in the physical fitness world. Where else can you eliminate expensive equipment, simplify your routine, save time, and enjoy the activity? Well said. We also appreciate your commitment to amazing customer service and the willingness that you take to take your valuable time to answer individual questions. Keep up the good work and may the Lord bless you, your family, and your solar sizer family, Lance and Lana. Thank you, Lance and Lana. All right, we've got a couple more and I just, I got to read them to you. Oh, all right, this was, this was written by Diane, kind of a commentary on what we talked about a few weeks ago with regards to the character of the person we're becoming in the process of pursuing the things that are important to us, whatever it may be but in our physical health as well. And she says, hello, Dave, trust all is well. I purchased a bifold cellar sizer after watching your most recent YouTube video dated June 1st, 
2020. Prior to that day, I watched several of your videos for a number of weeks, but was waiting for the right time to make the purchase. The catalyst was the introductory message that you gave in your video regarding learning to enjoy the journey. As I watched and listened, I was impressed by the relevancy of every word you spoke. You see, just the night before, I had experienced one of those moments you described. I was literally in the dark room fighting against that which was wrong. In that state of mind, everything you described took place. The frustration, despair, etc. That night, I cried out to God for answers to overcome and rise above my circumstances. The very next day, I watched your video, and the first statement that you made helped me to see why I have not been enjoying the journey. You said, you can't find happiness at the end of your journey if you're not willing to bring it along with you along the way. This statement was a reminder to be thankful for what I currently have and identify what is good in my life. Envision the outcome I desire rather than focusing on the current circumstances. You said that our goals and objectives are great, but the process of achieving them is what defines us and our character and the person we are becoming. That spoke volumes to me because I saw that when I focused exclusively on the goals, objectives, needs, and even the problems, I found myself in a state of frustration and defeat. I also recognize in your statement what I know is the heart of God, which is to see us developing character and become who He really sees us to be. From your statement, I clearly understood that when we continually fight against, meditate on dark circumstances, we inevitably develop the characteristics of those dark circumstances, transforming our personality and thought life. This is huge. This in turn influences patterns of behavior and repetitive life experiences. Dave, I'm not sure I can fully express how much I appreciate the time you took to help us, your listeners, to see beyond the surface. I fully agree that the principles that you presented can be applied in any area of life. I treasure all that you have to say. I found that there was so much to be received that I recorded and typed out your message in order to unpack all the gems that can be applied to my life. Since then, I've experienced a greater resolve to maintain a thankful disposition and persistent focus. Although there have been some challenges, I have also experienced several blessings that I know have come as a result of putting into practice the statements made in your message. Thank you. Concerning the seller sizer, I am extremely happy with the purchase. I am enjoying this form of exercise every day. I purchased the app subscription approximately a week after the seller sizer and had discovered that it, it simply completed the regimen, offering a wide selection of exercise routines every time I am ready to seller size. Some of the physical benefits I've already noticed is improved posture. I simply walk taller. In addition, varicose veins are actually disappearing. And we get that a lot. And my skin has become more supple. I am working on becoming toned in my arms and legs, so trusting that will eventually happen with time. My digestion system has also improved. All of this in three weeks of use. May God bless you, your staff, family, and the Cellarcizer mission. Thank you again, Diane. Do you see the relevancy of, of, of and, and the message and how, how it, it's just repeated over and over and over? Cellar size is not typical exercise. And as, although typical exercise can be fun, enjoy it, cellar size is completely unique. It is a weight-bearing exercise, not a weight-lifting exercise. So it's on the whole fascia, not just parts of the body. We're going to answer a little bit more of that in some of the questions that are about to come up. I'm going to read this one. I've saved it for last. This is Dr. Lynn Linder. I don't know if you know her yet, but you will. And she has become a proponent and really has made quite an influence in the lives of, of a great many people as far as the quality of their health and life is concerned. And she is uh, now joined with us in the Solar Size family, and she's using what we have to offer to further help her patients and, and those that she works with. So Dr. Linder um, actually put together a routine. And if you go onto our Mr. Rebounder app, you'll see that we've included that routine now in the advanced section of the, um, of the app. And it's, it's brilliant. It's a, it's, she's taking the elements of the movements, explain them, and put them together so it, it's, a, it's a cardio exercise, excellent for increasing metabolic processes and for losing weight, increasing intensity, and um, going, after, um, going after a lot of some, that, that stubborn fat as well. Okay, 
She says, good morning, Dave. I know that you've been super busy since COVID and folks are looking for a method to boost immunity and to work out from home. The cellar sizer is what I recommend to my patients as it addresses both of these concerns. For some back history, despite knowing the health benefits of cellar sizing and recommending the unit to my patients, I chose to purchase a cheap rebounder years ago and I could feel the joint dysfunction that it was causing and so I stopped bouncing altogether until I purchased a proper rebounder, cellar sizer. The difference is incredible. So much so that I created a YouTube video discussing why I recommend a cellar sizer and how it has helped me achieve my best health and fitness at the age of 45. I also wanted to share my personal interval training, what I do. Here's my personal routine. And in, in, um, if I can, I'll just bring it up on the app. If we go to the app and we go to home, let's go back to home. We go to senior section and we go to Dr. Lin. You see her right there at the very end. And this is her routine. And we'll do the routine. We're not going to do the routine tonight. For those of you who have the app, um, you don't have to wait. You're welcome to do this. Of course, here we have the, the female version. Um, you can do male or female uh, just by choosing the avatar that you want to use. But she goes on, so she's got warm up, one minute of health bounce, one minute hip rock, one minute gentle twist. That's getting the body completely loosened up and prepared for a more intense uh, movement or, or workout. And I want to encourage all of you who are athletes to consider cellar sizing as your warm up rather than just stretching. Stretching can actually tear cellar size massages. It's a pumping action to feed circulation and create an enormous amount of balance and strength in the body as well. You have to experience it before you really understand what I'm, what I'm saying. But she goes on and she's got her entire routine. She says, also, I, I have been so incredibly pleased with the quality of the cellar sizer and the results that my patients are getting that I recently, I wanted to broadcast broadcast my own testimonial and why, why I recommend the cellar sizer to my weight loss patients. Feel free to use any quotes from this video as a testimonial. If you would like a physician's testimonial, I'm always happy to help. I've attached the link for your review. As of today, my first rebounding video has 60,000 views and I'm excited to share my findings with the viewers. I look forward to staying in touch and providing any support that I can in an effort to help spread the word in health and with many blessings, Dr. Lin. Dr. Lin, we're honored to have you as part of the group and we're honored to have all of you sharing and, and sharing your stories and, and helping people understand the benefits that cellar size offers. My routine is still basically a 10 minute a day routine. I've been doing it for, you know, over, over 30 years now, and um, I'm still running around, you know, Brooklyn. Do I act my age? No. <laughs> it's my daughter. I, I'm running around enjoying a quality of life that I want all of you to be able to experience more, and, and it, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Um, okay. And hi, Christine. Christine Hanks, I want to make sure I say hi. She's in the background. She's working and supporting us. She's also doing a lot of the editing, putting together the, the videos and making it easier for us to be able to find certain topics um, when you go to search for them on our, our YouTube channel too. So thank you, Christine. And she, I saw her last week and she looks great. She's, she looks great. She's got a lot of energy. She's, uh, she's busy. Okay. Does the app have routines for kids? You know, the movements that people do, I know my kids are right now, they are using the, um, the weight loss on the advanced aerobic routine. And it's great for kids. Um, yes, you can use that. Will there be more? Absolutely. And I've already talked to my son a little bit about some of those routines that we can actually do a program for kids one of these days coming up some, 
sometime too soon as well. But he was on with me just uh, what, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So, so yes, and our, our Mr. Rebounder app, we have a patent, we have other patents pending. And one of the things we're going to be doing, and I've got a great, one of the, one of the very, very best um, graphics designers, um, a, a company in, in Salt Lake City, Utah, named Origin. And Origin is, um, we're going to be putting together a caricature graphic that children can, can play it with and, and get a good exercise routine as well. My 82-year-old father has a square rebounder from 20 years ago. What's the difference between square and cellar size? How can rebounding help someone in their 80s? Okay, well, rebounder is no, it, 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 is, it is not in any way um, prejudiced against anybody's age because it doesn't recognize age. Cells are always changing. Cells are always being replaced. Cells can be strengthened in any age. Um, and as your cells get stronger, your performance gets better, your body parts and functions work better. So you enjoy a better quality of life. And that's what cellular size does. Balance, equilibrium, rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, they're physiological functions. And as we cellular size, we literally improve those. And we can target the, the supporting muscles, the ligaments around the knees and around the hips, around the back, around the shoulders, and digestion, elimination. And you, you know, know that through the previous videos. Um, What's the difference between a square and a round? The cells of our body are round, they're not square. And so I, I really, I, I patterned the cellar sizer after a cell and that idea of a cell. When we stand on the cellar sizer, we're the nucleus. The, the, the cell is there to, to, uh, to perform for us, to provide for us. By having a round circular unit, it helps move us back toward the center of the unit. On some of the, the square units, if you land at an angle, it has more of a tendency, especially if the mat's stretching, to throw you off. And so you have to be a little more careful. So the cellar sizer is designed to provide a better, uh, better process. Okay, um, which celebrities are using the cellar sizer? I'm not gonna mention a lot. There's a lot of them. I met some wonderful celebrities um, that uh, that have been so so gracious, and I, I don't I don't think they would mind my mentioning their name, but um, I probably won't right now. But um, you know their names, and and they're wonderful wonderful people, um, just like you and I. And I I enjoy I enjoy uh, the time that I've had chance to spend with them, and and some of the very gracious comments that I've received from them. But I've just today heard of Cooper's ligaments in, oh, okay, this is, this is good. Women, you're going to want to hear about this. I just heard today of Cooper's ligaments in the breasts and the fact that once they are stretched out, they cannot be repaired. Do you know anything about this? It is recommended to wear a sports bra. Is it recommended to wear a sports bra, bra while exercising? Could cellular sizing possibly repair damage to the Cooper's ligaments? Cooper's ligaments are protein fibers. They're not the actual muscle, they're the actual protein fibers that run through the breast. And when Dr. Kenneth Cooper had uh, introduced everybody to aerobics and the idea of aerobics, a, a lot of people were out there hitting the hard surface, running on a, on a hard surface. And the jarring effect of landing on that hard surface repetitively can be very damaging to the breast. It can tear those protein fibers and then not much other than surgery is going to be able to help restore that. Um, it can tear the uterus, the vertebral joints, the, the abdominal rings in men. Um, the, uh, the heart is hard. The, the jarring impact accumulatively can be very damaging to the body. Well, there's a number of different routines that advocate how to build up the breast, and a lot of them are like push-ups or you know, weights or resistance movements. And, Guys, I'm sorry, but that, that's going to be very, very marginal because those are not, those, those protein fibers are not muscles. They're, they're a fibrous um, uh, protein uh, fascia, if you will, that runs through the, the breasts and help to support them. Now, people ask me all the time, if I'm cellar sizing, should I wear a sports bra, and I say, 
depending on how well endowed you are? Yes, absolutely. Because as you're moving up and down, keep in mind, there's very few exercises that will do this. As you're moving up and down, it's weight bearing. So as you apply weight to the cell membrane over and over, the cell is going to respond by fortifying its, more, its membranes by becoming more resistant. And so, yes, I've, I've noticed as, it, I don't want to embarrass my wife, but um, I noticed that the movement up and down on a cellular sizer does help. And, and we've heard it from many people, it helps to firm the breasts. How else are you going to have those protein fibers do a push-up? You know, you're doing it with the muscles, but how do you get the skin, the collagen, those, and the fibrous, um, protein fibers to become more resistant to weight? You cellular size. It's all weight bearing. As you apply weight to the body, it becomes more resistant to the weight. As gravity wins out, everything starts to fall. But when you put it under more weight, it becomes more resistant to the weight. What better way to do that than uh, a, a program that is applying weight to the entire body over a hundred times a minute. So yes, it, uh, it's gone a long way in helping to firm um, and, it, and it can. Will, rebound, will rebounding help with straightening the spine? I can't stand up straight and have spinal stenosis and hip impingement which cause one level to be shorter than the other. Chronic, constant chronic pain, no surgery at this time. I always have to say, if you have a medical condition, I'm obligated to say, consult with your doctor or feel free to have your doctor give me a call. And I'm more than happy to share some of the routines and some of the approaches that your doctor might be able to um, promote for you. But on, with regards to the back, remember the skeletal system can't support itself. It's supported by the muscles and the ligaments and the, and the, and the fascia. So as we stand in place, and I know this because I have numerous customers that have done this technique and they've written me beautiful testimonies and customer reviews regarding it. When we stand in place, and, and if, depending on where we're at, we take little movements and we get stronger and stronger holding our, those positions. So we can start off, just pull your shoulders back a little bit, stand a little more erect, tighten your stomach. As you're moving up and down, the muscles are flexing around that alignment. And over a period of time, as we're moving up and down, if, if we're out of alignment, some, and in you know, chiropractors, I encourage you to try this. As w when you sit in a chair and you put your back up to the chair and you lift your legs up, and very common to have one leg shorter than the other, then have, have your patient get on the solarizer and bounce up and down for a few minutes. The hips, if the muscles are tight on one side of the body over, over the other, but as you're moving up and down equally, the hips and the bone structure starts to move. Muscles start to loosen up. The body starts to become more aligned. And as we're doing this, we're not favoring one side of the body over the other. We're moving up and down equally so that the body can become more balanced. That's one of, one of the reasons people are so much stronger after they get off of the subtle sides, just, just one of them. But. So, yeah, increasing circulation through your, um, your spinal column, the movement up and down, um, the movements on the cellar sizer, uh, such as rocking side to side, drops the hips into the mat, the gentle twisting, helps to do several things. It helps to loosen up the muscles in the back while it's pumping fluid up and down. And as we twist, we can help move that fluid back between the vertebral joints to the disc imbibing the disc with more synovial fluid. Um, and most people don't even know how to do that. So that, those are just some, some simple movements that the solar size offers that does not have jarring or ballistic impact because the jarring effect causes the body to tense up. It exposes the imbalances, can actually exasperate them and can cause a restriction of circulation to, to those joints in certain areas of the body. Thanks, honey. So, do you get a rebounding effect from the Jamba Walk and Run? When I do them, there seems to be very little or no vertical movement and almost all is confined to the legs. They are great exercises, but I was wondering about not having much change from going weighted to weightless and back. Great observation! Try to do the Jamba Run, don't. <laughs> if you were to try to do the Jamba Run on the ground, you can't do it. 
because you would hurt your back. The jarring effect is so severe. So you're right, there is a difference. But when I created the Jamba Run, my objective was to teach a, a methodology that would increase metabolism and burn fuel. The biggest engines in the body are in the thighs and the buttocks. When we feed those engines with fuel, they're gonna burn, they're gonna burn that fuel. So being able to do the Jamba Run, keeping our back straight and our feet flat, keeps the weight right there on the big muscles and just going like this that's an intense exercise you're right it isn't utilizing the forces of acceleration and deceleration it's, you do that in between sets but it's burning fuel and increasing circulation which is the whole purpose so it was a good observation new to solar sizing if you have some time, please show specifics on how seniors can strengthen old and often stiff, reduced range of motion, knees. Well, that's, that leads us to um, right what I want to talk about. So, seniors, I guess I qualify for that. Let's go through some movements that are designed to help you with your bone and joint health and with the supporting muscles and ligaments around those joints. So we're going to start off with, and we've done a little of this in the past, we're going to start off with the neck. So if you have neck problems or you don't have the flexibility in the neck, taking the fingertips, putting them on the vertebral joints, your fingers in front, doing little circular motions like this, to help move fluid in between the vertebral joints as we're turning one side to the other, but doing it while we're bouncing so that the tissue is being massaged and the fluid is moving up and down. That's an enormous difference. If you don't think there's a huge difference by simply adding that movement up and down, grab hold of your deltoids, squeeze them with your fingertips, hold on to those muscles, and then bounce up and down. It's huge. It's not a little bit, it's a lot. So your weightless weight, weightless weight, all those tissues are being massaged. I love it when people write and let me know, wow, they've had these problems for years and now they're gone from cellulosizing. We get that all the time. Again, if you have a medical condition, I have to say consult with your doctor. But these are techniques that I teach doctors. So standing there and gently massaging, bending the head, massaging while you're moving up and down, we can actually work on improving circulation between the vertebral joints to the disc, helping to imbibe those discs with more synovial fluid so they can expand, taking pressure off the nerves and increasing flexibility in the neck. So those gentle movements are a good way to start. More aggressive movements when you're ready it can be involved by taking the hand, sticking over your head and just kind of gently pulling it to the side and gently you don't have to overstretch in fact you don't want to <laughs> well the moment you feel the tension just stop allow the movement to massage the tension away turning our head to the side and pulling down we have more same thing this direction and you can feel the stretch i mean i can feel the stretch feels good then to the side and then always ending up with just some gentle movements again for a few minutes to help increase that circulation to the neck. Be careful doing these because if you don't have enough space between a vertebral joint, you can irritate a nerve. Now, one of the things about subtle size is it's, it's very forgiving. You're not tearing, you're basically massaging, but you're also moving and, and you want to take some time to get to some of those movements. Shoulders, very important. All right, I've had incredible results over the years, including my own <laughs> on shoulders, because I'm always doing crazy things. If you take your, your elbows and stick them in front of you, like here, and just gently move up and down and feel the shoulders, feel the movement, it, very simple. If you have a really bad shoulder or frozen shoulder, you can support the shoulder with your hand and then just kind of gently move it in different positions while you're gently bouncing 
And this is the technique that I teach for physical therapists as well. Okay, so now sticking the elbow straight ahead, we can work at putting the elbows up over our head. And we put them up over our head and gently bounce up and down for a few moments. And that's going to help. Our objective here is to open up the rotator cuff and also loosen the, the ligaments and tendons around the shoulder. Then out to the side. And just now we're going to do circular movements. So we do this for a while. Do this one overhead for a few moments. And out to the side again. And we can take the hand, put it up underneath, pull it to the side, gently bounce up and down. And there's, <laughs> it's not just doing this. You're doing this with a gentle bounce. And that gentle bounce is what's massaging that tissue and increasing circulation, help reduce inflammation. We do the same thing on the other side. Just really gentle. And then we can do things such as opening up the shoulders even more by doing things like this, where you could in, out. And do the same thing overhead. And that's, uh, that's some of the shoulder movements. Another one that's good for those who it's a little more advanced would be if you were doing what I call the cellar size jumping jack. I don't encourage normal jumping jacks on a cellar sizer because you will land too close to the spring. And it, the, I've never broken a spring in my entire life. And I've been doing this for over 30 years and I've got my cellar sizer that's over 15 years old and yeah, my trifold and I use it and travel all around the country with it and it, I've never broken a spring. There's basically just two to three things that will break a spring. One of them, it's notorious, is doing jumping jacks where you land too close to a spring and that can fracture the spring, especially if you land on it. And it may or may not break initially, but eventually it probably will. The other is wearing shoes. If you're wearing shoes on a cellar sizer, um, shoes often don't have the flexibility that a foot does. And so it can create more of a jarring effect or if you land, it can fracture a spring as well. Or if you use a cellar sizer like a big trampoline, it's not designed for that. And there are some people that advocate, well, jump high, you add more weight. It doesn't matter. You reach a plateau a certain level, it, it, you're not going to get stronger simply because you jump higher. It gets to a certain plateau and then it basically just stops. So um, if you're jumping higher, I tell people, we want to jump high, go ahead, get a big trampoline, jump high, because then you can do tricks. On a cellar sizer, when you jump high, all you're doing is floating. For a longer period of time and floating is fun on a big trampoline but on a cellar sizer it's for fitness and so we want to remain as close to the mat and the springs that's where the g-forces are really working now yes you can jump high occasionally but but the majority of the work is going to be with the, closer to the mat where the cells are flexing many more times per minute with resistance and that's how we get the benefits so but this glorified jumping jack is done by just I don't want to hit that. <laughs> I'm going to turn a little bit this direction. Um, you're going to move your arms up and down over your head, and I kick my legs behind me. So it's just like this. And that movement that just helps loosen the shoulders as well. Okay, so from the shoulders, let's go to the hips because that's uh, that's important. And by the way. The whippy ski patrol is also a very good one. And that's the one where we're just, I mean, you can start off by simply doing it like this. Lifting the shoulders up and down, loosening up the back and the hips. This is a good warm up. From here, we can work more of the hips, rocking side to side. This is an excellent motion right here in the hips. If you take your fingers, stick them directly underneath your hip bones, as you rock side to side, you will feel how much those muscles are working. The hips are dropping into the mat, so you start to get, loosen up the lower lumbar with that, that jarring impact. You're working the thighs and you're working the knees at the same time. Standing on one side, of course, and stepping across to the other with this whippy ski patrol is more advanced, but that's working. <laughs> 
all kinds of areas in the body. So in the hip area, rocking side to side, to loosen it more, we can stand there, hold on to the balance bar, lift the heels up and down, and do the twist. That's loosening up the lower back, but as you notice my heels and my feet, I'm pushing them this way. So I'm working the hip area, I, even if I keep my hips straight ahead, I'm working the hip socket area. And this helps to loosen all the muscles and ligaments in the hip and increase circulation. Now, I had a lady, I've, I've had several customer reviews, I want to share one with you. She was, um, she came over and she had a, a crutch and she was walking with a crutch and I asked her if she wanted to get on the solar sizer and she said yes she would. So she laid her crutch on a chair that we had for people to sit in. She laid it on the chair. I had her come up and I had her start off with a gentle baby bounce, which is one of the most important routines I think we can do for waking, you know, massaging and increasing circulation to prepare the body. It's a warm up. And then I had her gently rock side to side. And then I had her gently, and we did that for several minutes, and then we had her gently twist. And she, by that time, she was enjoying it. She was just staying on it, enjoying it. When she went over, she got off. She went over to pick up her crutch. So she walked over to it, and she stopped. And then she stood up. She walked right past her crutch, came back, lifted her crutch, put it up over her head, and yelled out for everybody to hear, look, I'm walking without my crutch. I'm walking without my crutch. She was very excited. And that's, um, we've seen that type of thing happen often. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's exciting when we do. Okay, so that's the hip area. Um, if we want to strengthen the hips even more, more advanced movements, you know, of course, we've got this one here. And then we've got the, the waist and the hips, um, the obliques, the, um, um, where we help to build, tighten, and tone, this, this whole side. And for those of you, and you've probably heard me say it a number of times, and I don't know why they ever named it this, but for those of you who have love handles, the question is how many of you really love them? I don't know why they call them that because most people I know don't. <laughs> it was one of the harder areas for me to figure out. And this, this movement here it does wonders for tightening and toning that, that whole area. It's just kicking out side to side. And as you're kicking out side to side, you're putting the weight right there. Now, that's a lot more intense than just lifting your, your leg up. You're lifting your leg up and coming down with a lot more weight. And so that uh, you start off easy, start off gently. Dr. Lynn, in her program that we now have on the Mr. Rebounder app, um, actually uses that, that movement very intensely as part of her routine. And it, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to practicing her routine as well. So that's, that's some more on the hip area. Maintaining good circulation and good strength in the supporting muscles and ligaments around the hip, that's critical. When, when we become too sedentary or we've had injuries or damage to those supporting muscles and ligaments and we can't retain enough support in that area, we get too much pressure on the joint, we lose circulation and then we end up with hip problems. As we start to restructure and strengthen those supporting muscles and ligaments so we support them better, we're able to retain more fluid between the joints. And very often, very often, those conditions or weakness can just, just fade away. Okay, the knees, very important. So let's talk about the knees. Oh, I just realized this is where I, I learned one of the movements. So it's right here with this couch. <laughs> I've got my son doing this every night now. He's playing basketball, and it's great for basketball and for volleyball or anybody who needs vertical, vertical leap as well. But the uh, movement is for the knees we can start off very, very gently, simply um, walking in place where we keep our back straight, our feet flat, the jamba walk. You don't even have to lift your feet up off the mat. You'll still feel this. It's still working the big muscles of the body. And that's, you're just pushing down into the mat. And as you push left, right, left, right, pretty much flat foot, footed, you can use your heel some too, but you're working the thighs and 
when you bend at the knee, you're working all the supporting muscles and ligaments right around the knee, which is the whole front part. And as we do this for a period of time, and as our knees get stronger, then you know we can go a little bit faster and eventually you know, get to the point where you can do the jamba run. And it's not jarring. You're not tearing down. You're not hitting a hard surface. You're building. Now, if you have a weakness, the solarizer is very helpful at exposing the weakness. So we can go gently as we, as we build it up. We've had a, new, a number of people that have had knee issues. And there's, there's many different approaches you can take. Um, I'm remembered of one gentleman who was a Super Bowl, Bowl winner. He won two uh, Super Bowl rings as a quarterback, one of my, my customers. And he tells the story of when he, in fact, when I met him, <laughs> he was not in the best of shape. He, he couldn't exercise. His knees were swollen. Um, if he went out and tried to do any exercise, jarring type exercises or, or running, his knees would swell up and actually had pictures of him with great big bags of ice on his knee to help reduce the swelling. Well, that's not a very uh, enjoyable experience by any means. And so he became less active and started to put on weight. And, and then I met him. And I asked him a question I ask every one of you. And I point out something that if we're having knee problems, hip problems, back problems, or shoulder problems, it's often a result of either weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint. So if we address the supporting muscles and ligaments and w they become stronger, we're able to retain more fluid and very often those conditions start to fade away. Well, he couldn't run, he couldn't do typical exercise, but he could solarize. I saw him one year later and one year later he was back down to his, to his collegiate weight and he's running around enjoying a quality of life that only those who understand what I'm saying, who have been through it, can really appreciate. It's, it's wonderful, and we want, we want everybody to be able to enjoy that. So um, the lateral knees, both sides of the knee, very few exercises will work on that, and that's the hop side to side. And those muscles and ligaments. Now, if you're in any athletic sports, you want these muscles and those ligaments to be flexible and strong because so many injuries come as a result of a lateral move where the ligaments and the tendons are not strong enough to support the movement. And, and if you've had those injuries, again, you know, I, many of you probably heard me talk about Robert. When I met Robert, he was a, he was a semi-professional athlete in the 70s and, and won numerous awards. Um, when I met him, he wasn't able to compete anymore. His knees were a mess, his back was a mess. I taught him, spent some time, taught him the same movements. He took it to heart. A few months later, he goes out for the Senior Games Pentathlon, wins first place in all of North America, considered the best on the continent. In his 60s, of which I am now, <laughs> in his 60s, he leg presses 880 pounds. He sends me a letter and he says, David, your, so it has been absolutely miraculous, the positive influence your cellar size has had on my body. I've tried every strength, plotty, stretching routine available. Nothing like your tramp has helped me to get my muscle and joint health back. He, he goes on to say he and his wife um, know that the cellar size made it a, a difference. So, so this, yeah, this, this is a great one for the knees to the ankles, for the foot. Oh, one more for the knee. This one here. Now, this one made a huge difference for me um, when I blew out my, uh, um, my meniscus in more than one place. I just, I really messed it up. The doctors all said I had to have surgery and I wrapped it and did my cellar size technique. And it took a year, but I'm glad I did. But this movement really started to open up the knee and the flexibility of the knee again. And, and for those of you who, who, who do shopping, um, it's nice to be able to bend down and, and look at the bottom shelf in the way back to be able to get something and stand up again without your knee bothering you. And this one here really helped with that, that area. So I put my hands on a table, and in this case, I use the couch. My son does this every night, too. It, you just, and you've seen me do it, many of you. You bend at the knee, 
You just kind of leap up and come down. Leap up, come down. And I'll do that several times. And, and you'll feel it because it's all, it's all working right here. So that's about it for today. Are there any questions, Brooklyn? That, okay. Um, I want to thank all of you for the care, the kindness, the support that you've been to me and to each other. Um, we've got a, a little bit of heaven on this earth that I think we, um, I, I certainly appreciate um, being a part in the, in the, you know, we don't, we don't look at the issues that create contention and division. We look at the objectives that unite us and help move us forward. And I know that we all have a greater health potential and that's physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And I know that there are forces right now, I think we all do, we know that there are forces out there that would promote contention and division. But there's also forces out there that are kind, that are loving, that want to be a difference and make a difference. And I think those of you who are part of the Subtle Size family, um, you represent that. So thank you again. Remember, you don't need to work out when you play in. Please share this with as many people as you can and feel free to give me a call anytime. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to, this is important. Because um, I'd like to get some feedback on this. Uh, let's see. I'll bring it up on my camera. Okay. So, I've had people to ask me a number of times. They said, well, I want to measure the intensity, or I want to measure the amount of time that I'm on a solo sauce, or I want to measure the number of bounces that I do on, on the solar sizer. I want to know how many calories I'm burning on a solar sizer. So we just filed, and, and we've got a, a new patent pending on a, a device that I'm going to share with you. It's not available to the public yet, um, but it's, uh, it, a, it actually attaches to any mini trampoline. And whoop, it will measure exactly what, what I just shared with you. It measures, oh yeah. Okay, let's see if they can see that up there on the big screen. Okay, it is a monitor that has an oscillator that attaches to the unit and it will measure the number and it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. It will, it will measure the, Brooklyn, do you want to hold this for me? This one here? Thank you. It will measure the uh, the amount of calories that are burned, the number of bounces that you have, the amount of time for your session, and this measures the intensity. And boy, it, you got to work hard to get that thing up there. So here, no, what, do you have it on that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, got it. Okay. That's even better. Okay, so let's say I want to do the jumbo pretty intense. And it's, it's very accurate. That's pretty intense. Woo, and it comes back down. Or if I'm jumping higher, it will also measure intensity. If I'm jumping lighter, it measures the intensity as well. So we know that as we increase intensity, we're burning more calories. And the caloric burn is a, it was done with a, um, a formula that was based upon intensity, um, no matter who you are, um, or what, how much, you don't have to put in your weight, which is rather, it was really interesting to me. So, yeah, I see the amount of time I only burn eight calories, but hey, it's okay. I did a hundred and that's, that's how it works. Hmm? Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Again, that's new, is, is forthcoming on, the, uh, on this little guy. I had somebody call me a question. They said, well, how do I put it to these pieces? This, again, it goes over and pop this on. But when 
you want to have it some movement, so you make it snug, but don't make it too snug because we've actually had one person take it and they had it on their um, their bar and it was so tight here and it actually broke. It's not easy to do, but it, it yeah, yeah, I mean, so hopefully that helps. Enjoy cellar size and before you go to sleep tonight, Try the gentle baby health balance. Just relax your shoulders, back, buttock, three minutes, and then go to sleep. And enjoy the dreams.